week, so we'll we'll see how that goes. All right, looks like we got into a necrotic wake group. We're gonna do mythic zero necrotic wake. We're waiting to summon people right now. Let's see how it goes. Y'all ready? This is my first one. This is probably not. This is the, my first mythic since I've been back, but this is uh my second. <laughs> it's my second mythic zero. I had a key. I had a uh, plus two tyrannical. Uh, I forgot what it was last week, but I just let the key go away because I was doing PVP. This week, I hope to get a key from this. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, I hope to get a key from this and then push that key up. That would be nice. Uh, we got some uh, humans and uh, mecha gnomes in our party here. So this is a cross-faction run. I'm just going to blow my cooldowns every opportunity I get and uh, try to pump as much as possible. Feel free to pull more, they say. Let's go for the corpse harvester because he's going to be the one making everyone uncomfortable. Yeah, keep that drain fluids interrupted. I'll just stay back here working on this guy. I don't care about all that damage over there. We play it for keep spec here. All right, here we go. Let's get some AOEs. We got a stitched Vanguard here. Stitched Vanguard. <laughs> I, it is not lost on me that I'm seeing stalwart and vanguard and all these these words that are very specific to certain channels on YouTube. I'm seeing those around here in the Wowiverse. You guys, you guys, you guys, really? Wow. <laughs> it makes me happy, even if like it's not really my influence or anything like that, or any of the stalwart vanguard or anything contributing to the. You know what? For me, it is. For me, it really is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've been very excited. I tell my wife and my son, I'm like, oh, look. He said elude. When he said that, he said elude. And they, they get annoyed. They're like, dad, really, it's not. No, he did. He said elude. <laughs> so, yeah, I like to play. And uh, I'm very much about my fantasies. And I'm a... Uh, a, a very playful person. I don't take myself super seriously. Uh, I like to enjoy myself. Place that away from people. Though. That's how you do that. But yeah, I mean, I'm lighthearted. I like to have fun. I like to be comfortable and I like to be myself. I don't like to be somewhere where I feel like I'm not able to be who I actually am. And. You could tell if people are going to try to take advantage of you or they're going to try to exploit you or twist what you're saying or something like that. Like, these are all environments I avoid where there are people like this. And, uh, yeah, some people are just upset and frustrated with life and they just want anyone they can corner and take their day out on. And, uh, I got that face, I guess. I have this face <laughs> that people want to come and explain shit to. So I'm like, uh, I don't, I'm really sorry you're going through that, man. I, uh, I'm learning about boundaries, so I'm going to set one right now. <laughs> I'm learning about boundaries, so let me set one right, just very clearly right here. I got to go that way. You can go this way. Oh, you got it? Okay, well, I'll go that way then. All right, then. So that's how we'll do it. So yeah, that's how I feel. Just in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> I think the the holy the holy paladin here, they hear me. They see what I'm saying. Kill me, member. <laughs> Get her done. Get her done, indeed. All right, let's kill me, member. Like the healer likes.
But yeah, this is me in my natural state, guys. This is the... Uh, this is what I love to do. This is what I enjoy doing. I'm, I'm creating characters and experiencing different virtual worlds all the time. I am the Rift Walker. I'm the Rift Blade. I'm the Kaioken. I'm the Nightmare. The Psycho Prussia. The Furiosity. The Protocol. I am the Legend Tyrion. Elude Stalwart. I'm all these things. I'm the spirit that moves in between all these things. Eh? Eh? The spirit that moves in between all these things. Elude Stalwart of the Stalwart Vanguard. And you my friend are on the stalwart vanguard because you're here you're you're vibing with what i'm saying because you're still here you're listening to the, the like this is all the stalwart vanguard this is the experience of the stalwart vanguard welcome you're now a part of it and that's how i feel too like the stalwart vanguard's all these things it's like it can be so many more things too oh please don't kill me here it's i think we could probably improvise here let's take this and we'll do it like that and then we'll go over here to the friend and we'll do it also like that because I don't like messing with this guy take him down put him out yeah I also think the stalwart vanguard is gonna be a community of people that move between different spaces in the metaverse ah, and the metaverse guys you ain't heard enough about it let me bring it up again i think the metaverse is what do you think the metaverse is i think we're already in it we're already a part of it you guys y'all like to think that in the movies and tv shows like have you seen some of the old movies and tv shows back in the day what they used to think the internet was what it looked like The, the internet ended up being just like whatever browser you want looking at whatever information someone decided to link it to I don't know it's kind of like an amorphous thing right until it becomes spaces like and this is where I think the metaverse comes into play it's like we need to repurpose our brick and mortar buildings for something other than just uh, the way we do business so I think what happens is we create spaces where we can have this kind of augmented experience where there's like a virtual world overlaid on top of a physical world. But it's not just like laser tag. These aren't places you go to do stuff like these are going to be places that you go to like, like you would go to a theater to experience some great fine art or something like you're going to really want this to be like, and maybe it is also just like, you know, uh, smaller more intimate experiences as well but uh yeah i don't think there's any limit i think it's all those things it could be any of those things it's just i think the metaverse becomes how we interface with digital things changing into whatever it's going to become new did i just pull those guys uh guys <laughs> i am so sorry i was spaced out that's on me. That that one's on me, guys. What the fuck, bro? I'm so sorry. What's... I hope this doesn't get us killed, because we probably got some tricky ones in here that can fuck us up if we're not careful. Let's just continue to pop off, because I'm afraid. Someone died. The tank died. Fuck. No! We pulled the next group! That was on me. I lost you guys. My bad. I was I thought that they kept going, so I was trying to get around that thing. <laughs> he said wipe it. Shit. Shit fuck. Sorry guys. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I have trying to concentrate on too many ways. different things at once yeah so like you were out of my line of sight so I couldn't heal you on that part dang that little bridge thing fuck I'm such a failure look here's another little spear do I have multiple of those now 
I think it let me get another one. Well, we had some momentum there. I lost it when I started talking about Web3. There's something toxic about it. We shouldn't speak about it anymore. Let's just drop it. Let's move on with our day. Oh. 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 Just want our W.O. skips back. It would be nice if you didn't have to run all the way back through these dungeons after you wiped. If there was, like, more checkpoints. He said, I peaced out in pain, death. <laughs> <laughs> the hunter said, I ain't fuck around, I just feigned. Immediately, I just feigned. Here, let me get rid of this. Get some FPS back. I can't have too many windows open. I've got to conserve resources. Alright, here we go. Launch it at him. One, two. Yeah, I think whenever I picked up the other spirit, overwrote you the initial spirit. To justice. So in a sense, I just wasted you a spirit by gathering it after I already had one. The sky? That's unfortunate. Shall answer in kind. I really need to clear my bags. Foolish paragon. There is nothing you can do to stop us. Kami. Oh wow, I way overshot. I'm at a 300 millisecond latency. Yikes. My soldiers rise once more. Where's the magus? Get in here. Okay, I guess we go to that guy. Alright, that's fine. There's a crossbow guy. I'm gonna take this guy out. My son and I have been playing Roblox lately. And uh, there's this game called YBA for your bizarre adventure. We've been leveling up our, our characters and getting different stands. And the combos and the combat, how you do it, is uh, all revolving around your beatdown. Doing your <laughs> I'll be thinking that whenever I'm doing it here on the monk with Fists of Fury. Useless, 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 useless. Both the, him and I, uh, he's trying to help me get prestige up. I'm only like prestige two, you to the but uh, Let us end he got me the golden course. experience requiem stand. So first I had to get golden experience. It's like random whenever you get them. Like you have to stab yourself with a stand arrow and whenever you die, your stand kind of like comes alive or comes out. And the stand is like, it's a manifestation of the will of the caster. So, or at least in the in the story or whatever of it. So, it's interesting because it's all like, kind of like Pokemon. Like, the, the, the rarity of the stand and how powerful it is uh, will make it more or less, like, it, it'll drop more or less common. So... I guess Golden Experience Requiem, I don't know if it's the most powerful, but it's like currently, it, at least the way that game's set up right now, it's like one of the one of one of the most powerful in the game. And it has the ability to heal itself and you can also change like your character, like outside of your stand. If you think of your stand as like a hunter's pet, you can make your character uh, talents a certain way, you can make your stand talents a certain way. 
And then there's like another third tier of talents you could get. And you, you're all like, it's all revolving around your combos. And you can do certain abilities. You can get like a vampirism, for example, and do like what they call vampire boxing, where you have boxing gloves and you basically like suck their blood to heal yourself. And But the sunlight burns you. So if it's daytime, then you can die. But uh, if you have like an umbrella, you can walk around during the day. So like all this, uh, it sounds familiar, right? Um, but yeah, I can't wait till they make a real and good JoJo's game. Cause that's gonna go, that's gonna be really good. I'm hoping that's what they're doing in Roblox. I hope they're like testing and then like gonna port over once they find something that's like the magic formula or the secret equation and make the most amazing fighting game slash like universe i don't know that's the that's the hope and that's what it is to be a rift walker a rift blade or a, a loot stalwart spirit between dimensions of the meta <laughs> it's like the spirit of this this warrior goes between all these different souls it's like uh dragon ball z um i want to say xenoverse dragon ball z xenoverse 2 but maybe it's a uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. One of these games has like the narrative or the story that there are waves going through the universe that are like blocking the Z fighter's power. And even the, the enemy, the bad guys as well, are suffering from these waves to where they have like no, uh, they can't do damage. They're like nerfed for some reason, they're all nerfed. Unless the spirit of the warrior or whoever it is that the player is, um is in control of them so throughout the game like you're controlling different z fighters and when you're playing them they have access to all their powers and abilities but when you're not they don't and that's the only way they could justify like the evil people teaming up i guess but uh it, it kind of makes sense it kinda, so you kind of go with it and everything and you you also kind of realize that's literally what you're doing with any of these games like you're as the player the spirit that's going between these different warriors in different worlds and that's why i'm like not like i feel like the metaverse is not too poor in a concept for me to grasp or understand because we're basically as gamers already set up to do that and the metaverse is just actually where you get the non-gamers participating in this as well but nowadays like gaming so huge like I don't know. I think we're redefining what gaming is. In a way. Like, I don't know. I'm just like, I've been, this, this is the, these are the things I've been thinking about. I, I, at least the things I've been wanting to talk to people about. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. What do you guys think about any of this stuff? Uh, what do you think about WoW? What do you think about the metaverse? What do you think about being, like, a modern gamer or a modern, like, not rift walker there was something in magic the gathering called uh i think it was planes walking it was, it was like a, a planes walker i don't know if it was like the season or the generation of the deck that we were playing with but that's what we are we're planes walkers guys and it's like all what you make of it what what, what are you focused on whenever you get in these different virtual worlds like, what is, what is the goody that we're after here? My guy is just expressing himself. My shit's just expression in combat. Like, I love intricate combat. I love to where if you're better, then it's just better. Like, it feels more fun, like, the better you get. It's the World of Warcraft's OG motto is, like, easy to play but uh, difficult to master. It's like that. Yeah. Make it to where just anyone can play, but make it to where only the few, only the strong. You're the best around. Nothing's ever gonna get to you down. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Jean-Claude Van Damme do the Rising Sun can <laughs> for like five minutes. He was like, guy, uh, that's not a lot of DPS you're doing, man. I did one rising sun kick. I'm not trying to move him. Don't worry. He just saw my number go up. He's like, guys, don't hit it so hard. <laughs> it's not it's not even all that. That was just one move. Don't worry. 
I don't know where he's standing exactly, but I think he's cleaving right now. My cooldowns were out of whack, so I couldn't really pop off here. He may go back up on the stage. I hope not, but he might. Get him. Come on, let me let me finish him. Finish him. Oh, you motherfucker. He jumped right, right at the right rate. I was about to touch a death him. You saw my guy roar. He went... I have my touch of death set up. It's a macro. I have it. It's macro to... Uh, I think it's called the... the Cry of Razan or the Roar of Razan. The Echoes of Razan. It was from BFA. So he'll do the touch of death, but he'll go while he does it. So it's really cool. It's the coolest. And speaking of the coolest, we gotta look the coolest while we defeat this boss. Running more after this? I'm down. Cause I do, I need, we need four, right? Oh, motherfucker. Oh, good lord. <laughs> I pulled that off before, but I didn't that time. My <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> Thank you. Is that me neither? Okay, go, 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 go. Make it back. Puck, back off. Go, 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 go. We're getting our cooldowns. All right, here we go. Get out of there. Um, I'll just electric him. He almost got his binds frozen. He's a paladin, so I was thinking maybe he was like, oh, I'll just hand the freedom myself. Weird flex, but okay. Okay, get out of the bullshit. Light. Okay. Hey I tried to take one of those a little bit, just to get a little bit of that touch of karma damage on him. It was totally intentional. Totally. The circle exclamatories. All right, I got a mythic two junkyard. I got the junk yard plus two intellect. Ooh, no, not me. He needs it though. Yeah, go for it. Okay, are we hearthing? I'm down for you whatever. My attention. Okay. Where's the junkyard at? Operation Mechagon? I was here mainly for the quest. Same, same, and same. Who's the lead right now? Is it me? No, it's not me. Alright, we're gonna get to this junkyard.